In this video, we're gonna freeze the dome off with the ice tube, the chill mill, and awesome sauce. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today and if it's your first time here, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So as mentioned, we're going to continue with our awesome sauce experience today and we're going to freeze this cranium. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. I probably just set off everybody's Alexas. But anyway, we're going to freeze the dome off with the chill mill and the awesome sauce soap, which I've talked about before. Again, I've done a couple of videos on this. Uh, it smells like Parazzo Green, or excuse me, I'm holding up the awesome sauce aftershave, which is awesome. It smells like, it smells not like this. It smells like this, not this, this. Remember, aftershave, not soap. Great scent. Um, citrus, eucalyptus, oak moss, very much like a green Italian barbershop would be the way I would describe it. Uh, the cost if you're using CK6, which this is, it's $24.95 for five ounces, $4.99 per ounce uh, on our chart, which is a fair price. And if you get the regular CK formula, $14.95 for four ounces, $3.74, which is a good price. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to use the ice tube, first of all, which is mentholated. And we will cool the dome because we had a face shave today and it was super, super cold. Oh, I did use the uh, bar soap in the shower. Awesome sauce, oh, smells great. And the, the deodorant, which has some good scent strength. It smells great too. Oh, never miss an opportunity to catch a witch with, catch a witch? Are we catching a witch today? Catch a whiff of the soap. Okay, anyway, let's get started with our, what did we do with our misting bottle? There it is, it's right in front of me. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna be using all the PAA awesome sauce stuff today. We're gonna mist the dome first and apply a good bit of this ice tube, which is mentholated and is cold and is a good pre-shave. Uh, you can get, I think it's around $6.95 um, with PAA. And I will put the links below if you're interested in any of these products. I really enjoy them, but I'm not asking you to buy them. But if you do, the links are below there for your convenience. Thank you very much. If you do, it does help out the channel. Okay, next step. Apply mist. And now we will get the lathering and I'm using the PA Switchback 400 with a AP Shape Coast Silk Smoke Knot. The knot is 28 millimeters. And wow, I know that chilling is gonna come sooner or later because it really was cold on my face, I'm gonna tell you right now. And so I'm expecting some good chilling. We will use the usual, usual suspect today for our head shave, the leaf, which is my preferred head shaving razor. And I hope you enjoy it too. Okay. I will be doing a spotlight with Douglas and Fran in the future. So if you are interested in that, make sure you watch the channel. And you can hit the notification bell if you like. Completely up to you. I do a lot of content. And so watch whatever you like. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you appreciate the effort. It does take a lot of time, but I enjoy doing it. And that's why I do it. And if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't. It's that simple. All right. I'm not getting the cooling just yet, but I found on the dome, it takes a little bit for the cooling to actually set it on my face. It starts working pretty quickly, but on the dome, it takes a little longer. Now I'm starting to feel it. Right when I said I'm not feeling the cooling, I started feeling the cooling. So what I did was I ground up some menthol crystals into my bowl and you just twist it. Turn it over like so and you can see some of it falling out where it already twisted. Twist it, it is adjustable so you can make them smaller or larger size crystals and they do get the job done. I prefer regular menthol over the synthetic cooling agents myself. Isn't it kind of ironic that for years artisans made a big deal about for example, essential oils and, and needing natural, all natural ingredients. And I'm not opposed to it, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying to me, I don't care whether it's fragrant, fragrance oils or, or essential oils, I, I just don't care. But now menthol, some people are going to a synthetic menthol, which is kind of con contrary to their, everything must be natural. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you see the point I'm making there? It's kind of, it's kind of odd for years ago. We're using essential oils, you know. We don't want any of that artificial stuff. And then 
as soon as there is an opportunity to make a little scratch on a different type of cooling, they jump all in on it. And, and again, I'm just, I'm just pointing out that for so long, many of them were poo-pooing like a soap with a fragrance oil in it. Going, oh, that's not essential oils. You know, I'm using essential oils. And then first chance some of them get, they're right into the synthetic. <laughs> so it's like, it doesn't matter to me, but you know, as I've said before, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's good for you. So keep that in mind. Uh, I think generally I would agree that as close as to natural you can get, it's probably better for you, but it's not always the case. And there are plenty of natural things that are very bad for you. For example, for me, poison ivy, for example, it's natural as you can get, but it also causes me a lot of problems, including sometimes doctor visits and steroid shots or uh, pills. Uh, and so it's natural, but it's not good for me. And so just keep that in mind. I just, I found it interesting. And I prefer, I found that I like the regular menthol crystals more so than the synthetic. Um, that's just me. So I just, I thought it was rather ironic when people started getting aboard the synthetic menthol who were previously like, like, essential oils only. And I'm like, come on, just use whatever you like, you know? Just use whatever you like. And if you want all essential oil stuff, that is entirely okay. I'm not opposed to it. Just don't criticize me for using a soap with a fragrance oil in it. That's all. That's all. I say just allow people to enjoy what they enjoy, you know? I'm starting to get some cooling on the dome. It's, it takes a little longer on the dome. I'm not sure why that is. Does anybody know? If you know, comment below because I do not. But I know, you know, the skin on the dome, I, there's not as, it's not as fleshy on the dome. It's like, it's just a very thin layer of skin. And when you get a cut on the dome, it bleeds profusely. That I know too. <laughs> but uh, I don't know why my head takes a little more time to feel the, the cooling than the face. Because I'm telling you right now, my face and I shaved... Um, I shaved my face probably 20 minutes ago. It is still feeling the effects of the cooling. So if you want to really get a good cooling sensation, get the ice tube, the um, chill mill, and a methylated soap of your choice. It doesn't have to be awesome sauce, you know. It can be any methylated soap. And you put the crystals in there that you desire, the volume, and you'll get some chill. You will get some chill. All right. So far we're doing well. The blades in the Astra, I'm often asked what sort of blades I use. And most of the time, Astra SP. Because I have, that's, those are the blades I have the most of. I probably have easily, easily over a thousand. I know I have over a thousand. Because Oy Bay sent me like, or excuse me, not Oy Bay. Am I thinking of eBay and Oy Bay at the same time? The great Alexander, <clears throat> excuse me, Oyve sent me um, probably two or three hundred just recently, and I, and I already had. I'm pretty sure I had about a thousand to begin with, so I have well over a thousand. I'm sure of that. All right, very nice, very nice, and the awesome sauce smells great. I had an excellent head shave with it. Uh, by the way, be careful when you're positioning the razor that you don't hit yourself in the head uh, when you're head shaving. Um, you know, when you're also when you're removing the razor, pull it away from you. I've came, come close to cutting myself while putting the razor to my head or pulling it away from. And so what happens is you just get complacent. But always beware or be cognizant, I should say, of how the blade is oriented relative to your face and where it is at all times. Always know where the blade end is. That is my advice, okay. Okay, nice, I'm definitely getting some cooling now on the dome. It took a while. 
it took longer than it does on my face. And I assume, I don't know for a fact, but I assume it's because the face is just more fleshy. By the way, this uh, CK6 is an excellent vegan formula, as is, I would argue, the Crown King formula. I think it's good stuff, no matter which one you choose, totally up to you. The, the main difference in the CK6, got a lot of extra ingredients for skin nourishment, uh, if you're into that type of thing. For me, you know, I'm so-so on it. Uh, it's not as important to me as it is to others. But if it is important to you, then, you know, go for the CK6. If it's got, you know, cocoa butter, shea butter, jojoba, all kinds of good stuff. But completely up to you. Use the, you know, the formula that you prefer. But this scent, man, he, he and Fran, and we often forget Fran and we should not. I've been trying to, I've been trying to think more about what Fran does and mention her in the videos because often we, because Douglas is the face of PA, we forget that Fran has a very large role. And I assume she's making a good bit of these products and probably coming up with some of these scents too. And so she's definitely doing her part and uh, a lot of customer fulfillment, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, notice I'll lather up the neck there. Don't miss the neck, gents. I've been saying this, ooh, and it's cold. I can tell you right now, it's immediately colder on my neck. So my head, I ask, I'm assuming, and maybe Douglas or someone else who knows a little bit more about menthol and cooling can tell me why my head is a little more resistant. I'm making the assumption that, and this is absolute conjecture, or speculation, I'm making the assumption that my head doesn't feel as cold because it's less fleshy. I don't know if that's the case or not. I really don't know. So um, maybe someone who knows a little bit more about menthol and its effects can tell me, and I'm certainly willing to listen. I don't know at all, and uh, I'm happy to learn. You know, I learned a lot from uh, Mark from Friendship Shaving when he did a uh, video and he had a, a quite a bit of discussion around menthol. Uh, if I remember it, I will link that video below because I think it's excellent. And I think these sort of uh, educational videos are very valuable, even for old timers like me, who I've never looked that much into the actual effects of menthol. I just know it cools. I just know I like it, especially in the summer. Sometimes I even like it in the winter. Um, if you get a shave like this with menthol and you apply your aftershave and you go right out the door and it's cold, it really amplifies that effect, which some people don't find pleasant. But if you're feeling a little sluggish in the morning, let's say, and let's say it's a cold November, December, you know, whenever the weather, say, let's say January, December, January, February. If you're feeling low, you, you just can't get things going, let's say. You're having trouble getting motivated to get started. You got to go to work. Double up on your menthol products or use something like I'm using today. And use it right before you go out the door. And it'll wake you up. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I like it. You know, beyond the fact that it's just enjoyable. Especially if you're in a very hot climate and the weather has been quite warm here and uh, and all over the United States. And I've seen uh, abroad where people have had some a lot of warm weather as well this summer. So, you know, you can use this during the summer or you can use it as a wake up during the winter. Um, I use menthol year round. I don't shy away from it in the winter time. I'm one of these people that if, if something strikes my fancy to use, I just use it. I don't care what season. As I always say, I'm inappropriate that way. <laughs> um, I'm definitely getting the cooling now, more so on the neck by a good bit, but 
I'm definitely feeling the cooling. And this uh, PAA is really doing a job, a great job, I should say. Head feels nice and smooth. Let's get our problem area over here using residual slickness, which the soap certainly has. Again, any soap that doesn't leave. So the visible lather is gone. My definition, I realize not everybody agrees. I don't wanna dump my aftershave in the sink here. Not everyone agrees. But my definition of, of residual slickness is the visible lather is gone, but there's still some slickness. Okay, there we go. Missed a few spots there on the back on that first pass. I wasn't paying attention. That's why we do a cleanup pass. Very nice. Feeling good today. And when this video airs, I'll be gone camping. So I won't be able to respond immediately to your comments, but I'll respond when I get back. Just know I haven't forgotten about you, but I don't have any connectivity because <laughs> I'm out in the woods far from cell towers and internet and modern convenience, even electricity. No electricity, no running water, none of that stuff. Real camping, which is what I enjoy, which is minimal in the, in the way of accommodations. Just a fire pit and pic picnic table is basically all that is provided. The rest is on you. Every now and then, uh, some of the camps will have like a porta potty bathroom, but not all. And so you, you kind of have to either make your way to one of the camps with that or find a place in the woods. And you know, then you cover it up and you're responsible. You don't leave trash behind. You don't leave anything in or around the streams. I'm always aggravated when I see people who leave behind garbage. It drives me nuts and I end up picking it up. I just can't tolerate it. Um, if people would just be mindful about picking up their garbage and being responsible in that way, we didn't, wouldn't have to go crazy about all the other stuff. Okay, enough lecturing on that. Let me uh, rinse it down. We'll come back and get into the post. And we got a few post shape products to use, so stay tuned. All right, and we're back with our Lancaster towel, and we're getting some good cooling on the dome now, especially on the neck. Okay, uh, again, we're gonna skip the Thayer's today and just go full on aftershave, and then we'll use the um, Star Jelly, followed by the Solid Cologne. So, PAA, Awesome Sauce Aftershave. Again, I like to pour from the back, put my finger over, use it as the restrictor, let some out and enjoy the goodness, the awesome sauce. Oh yeah, oh, it smells great, great. I like that a lot, uh, as I did the awesome sauce soap. Again, absolutely terrific. Links below if you're interested. We will follow the aftershave up after that sets for just a second with the star jelly, but we're also gonna use the solid cologne, okay. Here we have the Star Jelly, which we will give a little burst there in our hands. And by the way, when you first get this, it's pressed down. I had to take mine out and hold the stem to twist it open. It, it, it wouldn't twist open uh, initially, but I figured it out. Okay, Star Jelly on the dome. I usually don't use bomb type stuff, but this smells great. And I figured, why not? Oh, it smells great feels great, and so we'll see how that develops throughout the day. The final, final thing for today is the Awesome Sauce Solid Cologne, which, just put your hand in there. I'm gonna put some on the stash, and a little bit in the beard, which you can do, and then we'll just hit the neck right there, and then it says you can put it like on your wrists and those sort of spots like that. Use it as a solid cologne. I've never used it before, and so we'll see how it goes, and. Hopefully, by putting it on the stash and beer, we'll enjoy that throughout the day. And this will just be an awesome day. I don't know what day this will air, but again, I'll be gone. I, thanks, I thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in any of these things, I'll have links below for your convenience. I always appreciate it. Uh, if you buy from the affiliate links, it does help the channel, but I'm not asking you to. I'm just saying it's there for your convenience, should you wish to do so. Thanks so much for watching as always. Until next time, I'm reminding you, I'm CDB, it's your shave, do it your way. God bless.